is the end of things. What the f Why are you so fixated on me? Because you're my friend. Just give up and let me cut you down already! This world <laughs> shall go pain. It's time you woke up. It's all over. Hello guys, welcome back to my reaction channel. Today we're going to react into Naruto Shippuden episode 494. Guys, we just finished off the Shikamaru arc and it was amazing, okay? I really love how they just showed us how much Shikamaru cares about Naruto and he even in this arc he reminded himself that Naruto truly is a shining star, man. He's supposed to be Hokage one day, so Shikamaru's doing his best. He's doing his best for Naruto, right? And I really love how they implemented these little details like the new generations and how now we need to teach them and it's like times of peace so everybody's kind of right low-key hanging out and not training not putting their efforts and right there's not gonna be a new rock Lee with the eight inner gates because nobody's putting that work in it's peaceful times right you kind of get dull at peaceful times and it's kind of very interesting to see Shikamaru somebody who taught that everything was a drag working so hard to not lose that edge right he was from the time where it was just war all over and you had to be on edge, you had to be ready ready. Now, we, we got new characters as well, you know, those guys from the Ampo, that little girl, and you know, you, you, we, they kind of showed us their philosophy, how they think, right? So yeah, peaceful times can mess with your mind and it looks like everything is changing and yeah, I, I, I don't know, listen. We got the Sasuke arc, now we got Shikamaru's arc, and now, I don't know, like, I, I'm, I'm waiting for them, I'm constantly waiting for them to wrap this up, because, yeah, it, this show is coming to an end, I'm loving that they're introducing new characters, and not wrapping this up, it kind of gives me hope, like, it's not ending, but it is ending, so, you know, it's kind of sweet, I like it, I really enjoy this Shikamaru arc, he is one hell of a character, and one hell of a friend right and seeing Asma's daughter and everything just they did that perfectly okay they did that beautifully well also exploding humans with Sasuke also beautifully well so listen I don't know where we go from here but I'm excited so guys I ain't gonna plot this that much if you enjoy my reactions feel free to share subscribe like leave a comment ring that bell for notifications guys follow me on Instagram join my discord server and my patreon page without further ado man let's jump right into this reaction let's go Hey Naruto and Hinata, congrats on getting married! Ooh. Huh? Uh. Bruh, this is how we're starting? This is how we're starting! They're creating a video for their marriage, like, oh, come on, their wedding, right? You film everybody's wishes toward the bride and feelings and, uh, okay, okay, so, yeah, they're basically wrapping this up with the marriage, bro. Yeah, I was waiting for that. I was, I was actually waiting for that. Come on, man. They have to get married. We have to see that. And, um, yeah, listen, my theory is they're gonna wrap this up with the, you know, marriage and everything and then a little time skip and then he's gonna be Hokage and that's gonna be it. Let's go, what man. What are you doing, Sai? Come on. Have you recorded your message? Oh, I just... You were a member of Team 7. You gotta do it. <laughs> Don't be so stiff. <laughs> Deepest congratulations, Naruto and Hinata. Uh, That's just creepy. I don't think I'll do a good job. Oh, boy. Man. Who is this? Who's this kid? I hope that both of you will have a hot, 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 hot buttered married life. Uh, you're way too close. Bro, no, 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 no. Whoa, that, that's a baddie. Guys, listen, I love Rock Lee. I don't care that he's too close. I'll accept his, uh, right? He can do a video for my marriage too when the time comes because that boy is just hyper and excited and he has that energy that we all need when we're having a bad day, right? So if Rock Lee wishes you a happy marriage, you better not ever mess things up in that marriage. I love it. Let's go. Yelling at them, it doesn't sound very congratulatory. Something's missing. Huh? Sensei. He's in a wheelchair. Dear Lee, what it really needs is something symbolic displayed on the screen. Wait, the sunrise! The sun surging over the horizon to mark the start of their life together. Damn! Listen, don't take them too seriously. Then, then, they're legends. Just let them be, bro. Just let them be. Guy Sensei is even tutoring him how to do a video properly, bro. He's like, go eight inner gates. That's gonna get your message across even stronger. Like, bro, Guy is just. I love the message that they're sending. Even though he's like crippled now, he's in a wheelchair. He's so enthusiastic and just happy to be alive. He even comforted Lee that way. He's like. 
Lee, you're not focusing on the bright side. I'm alive. I get to, you know, I get to experience all of this still, even though I was supposed to die. That was a end. That was an end move, right? Eight inner gates, you don't survive that. But he saw the positive side of surviving that in that condition. That's just amazing. That's why I love Lee and Guy and their relationship. They're just, you know, they're just so full of life, so full of energy. And Ten Ten, she a baddie. Let's go. Hey there. Speaking Naruto, of baddies. Hope you're well. <laughs> Enough with the wisecracks from the peanut gallery, guys. <laughs> Hinata, how much are you doing? <laughs> Akamaru knows what's up. He's like, you know, get me some. I'm, 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 I'm a stop. I'm a stop. Kiba, <laughs> you can't just butt in like that. Isn't there any friend of Big Brother Naruto who let me record a decent congratulations video. message? Is this gonna hammer him? Bro, what the hell? This is gonna hammer him? Bro, I didn't even recognize him. That's gonna hammer him. I guess he's also. A bit bigger, yeah, he wouldn't have, like, he doesn't have those, yeah, 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 bro, I didn't even, like, big brother, yeah, that's probably gonna hammer, yeah, it makes sense that he's making a video, ooh, that's gonna hammer, bro, I need to pay attention, let's go, uh, Iruka. Naruto, Hinata, my congratulations, Iruka he's so stiff. you're too nervous, come <laughs> on, hearing his mentor, Iruka Sensei, speak from the heart, is sure to bring big brother Naruto to tears, his mentor, huh, I don't know about that, man, come Quick. on, how about we try again later on? Man, that's gonna harm her though. He got a glow up for sure. Since Naruto's getting married. Man, he must be so proud. I'm gonna fast forward the opening and then we'll just continue, bro. This is just so sweet. Everybody, you know, wishing him and Hinata well and just, you know, and you can see how nervous Iruka is. Bro, I would be nervous too. He was his mentor. He was his motivation. He was the reason Naruto ended up where he ended up, right? He didn't, you know, he didn't lose his way. He didn't get overrun with rage because of Iruka. He was there. He was there to comfort him when it counted, right? Even though Iruka hated him because he blamed him for his parents. So that's just amazing. I'm gonna just, you know, and then we'll continue. Okay, guys. I fast forwarded the opening and then we'll just continue man all these characters all these glow ups and just man Hinata and Naruto are getting married oh. we came such a long way man Naruto Hinata no uh, Naruto look at what they did to the memorial statue what do we do <laughs> stay calm since you just recently became a teacher here Miss Sadoru I see how this would be upsetting but who is this Miss Sadaru? She's a baddie and she, I'm kind of, I'm right away I'm shipping her with Iruka because Iruka looks lonely as hell, bro. You need to, like, Naruto is getting married before you. You need to get on that, man. He's, she's a teacher too. Come on. And you, listen, they painted over heroes and statue. I get it. It's vandalism. I get it. But come on. Naruto used to do that with the stone faces. So come on. Give, give those kids a break, man. This is small. Hey! She caught him. Don't go treating us like we're criminals. Don't lie to me. I bet you enjoyed seeing Sadoru Sensei having a hard time. Ah, uh, and I bet you enjoyed just seeing her, Iruka. Come on, we know you're a closeted perm. It's not true. <laughs> you have no proof, so don't jump to conclusions. So this graffiti wasn't your guys doing, huh? It's quite aesthetically pleasing, so I figured that you guys must be the ones behind it. You know, you got a pretty good eye. Man, you're so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you get this completely cleaned up. Yes. Uh, she's smitten by that? Okay, you need to get out more. And that kid, bruh, really one compliment and you just out everybody? Man, learn how to lie. <laughs> wow, you're amazing, Erica. Compared to the antics I had to put up with from Naruto, <laughs> this stuff is practically a... He had a lot of practice. Naruto? Hmm? You mean Naruto Uzumaki? <laughs> My boy just scored some points on the board because of his student. Like, yeah, I know Naruto. Yeah, that Naruto. He defeated Pain. He defeated everybody. He was one of the main people who saved the entire world. Yeah, yeah. You, you know who taught him all that? I did. <laughs> Wanna go on a date? <laughs> Man, my, my boy Iruka just scored some points on that board. Tell me the comments if you agree. <laughs> That's right. He went here. Were you really his teacher? <laughs> huh? You mean Naruto Uzumaki, the super famous Naruto Damn. Uzumaki? He's on a totally different level. There's he no became way that a, a legend. Plain and boring teacher like <laughs> you taught him. <laughs> uh, don't make stuff up. Damn, man. They roasted him. He really was one of Naruto's teachers. Even if I were to tell them that, none of the current students would believe me. Yeah. Hmm? I've been looking for you, Iruka. Do you have a Who minute? the hell is this? Vice principal? I'd say you're the perfect person for the job. Well, I... 
Hmm. Okay, so why the wise principal? Why not the principal? Is this nice haircut looking dude uh, the principal? Like, what is happening? Come on, you can pull some strings, you know, Kakash, you know, literally the gods of this world, and you can't even pull a principal job? Come on! <laughs> I'm kidding, I know he's honorable, he would never do that, but that's kind of hilarious. Let's go. Something wrong, sir? You seem a little bit depressed today. And don't be so formal either. It's just weird. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a way that everyone can attend. Oh, I see. If everyone goes to the ceremony, then we won't be able to assign any missions that... And who's gonna watch over the village? Well, any emergencies that yeah. arise. Cause like, yeah, I mean, this, this wedding must be known throughout, right? So enemies might ambush because they know that a lot of shinobi are out and about having good, a good time with Naruto and, and Hinata, bro. So yeah, that's actually a, a pickle right there. I haven't even, uh, man, that hadn't even occurred to me, but maybe they can resolve that by having the wedding in the village. So that way, if somebody attacks, everybody can just, you know, <laughs> get rid of the toxin, just shadow claw, you know? <laughs> exactly. And their close circle of friends are all important Joni now. True. Be a real problem if all of them are unavailable. <laughs> Naruto, it's been a while. <laughs> I hear you're getting married. Why did he say it like that? Oh, I heard you're getting married. <laughs> what the hell? I don't you I I remember it. correctly. <laughs> when Lady Tsunade was Hokage, she had a rule for emergencies just like this one. The gift that each invitee intends to present will be assessed to determine who shall attend. Does that mean... What, really? What? That's gotta be a joke. It does seem that way. Yeah, that's gonna... Not right. No one would agree to something that basically puts a price tag on friendship. Yeah, man. If I do that, I'll be called the worst Hokage in history. That's messed up, man. But if I was, if I was Kakashi, I would just share this issue with everybody. And me, as a true Naruto friend, right? I would, I would pretty much say, listen, my gift to you is, I'm gonna guard the village, and you can have a good time, and all of you guys can have a good time. So I would, you know, I would bail on them wedding even though i want to be there but i would you know i would be like hey just save me some food i'll be happy and you know take a lot of pictures and videos so i can enjoy it later but i'm gonna sacrifice myself and i'm gonna be on the lookout yeah a couple of friends are sure to you know donate their time so everybody else can be happy come on they're, they're all real friends so so i'm pretty sure somebody is gonna volunteer rockley for sure right so i mean this shouldn't be that big of an issue i understand everybody wants to be there and naruto wants everybody to be there, but come on, you, you, you kind of have to, you know, priorities and such. So I understand, but as Hokage, it's more important to fulfill the responsibility that's right in front of you. Uh, I guess. So did you think of a congratulatory message? Oh, no. Sorry. I forgot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Was recommended I take it to become vice principal. What? What? Why only Iroka? Does that mean I'm not among those being considered as a candidate? Of course you're not! Konohamaru can kick your behind! I mean, like that again, Konohamaru can probably kick Iroka's behind too, so yeah, this is not based on strength. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, let's go. No, that can't be right! Uh, what's wrong, Ebisu Sensei? Huh? There's nothing wrong! At this point, I haven't even decided if I'm going to take the test. Really? Are you crazy? But you wouldn't pass up a chance like this, would you? Ebisu Sensei, you know, you look sort of happy. Yeah. But there's also a part of me that really wants to just continue teaching kids. Uh, he wants to one be a... On one. Well, yeah, of course! I still think you seem <laughs> a little too happy. Yeah, he's petty. <laughs> so, what's going on? Kakashi? <laughs> Bruh, Ichiraku Ramen is a G, okay? He's, he has Kakashi here all the time. He has Naruto, the future Hokage here all the time. My man is just rolling in cash. Plus, he has a hot daughter. Let's go. <laughs> huh? Oh, Lord Kakashi. Maybe that's why Kakashi's Girl, here all the time. Just drop the Lord part. What's up with you, Iroka? He was just asked to take the advancement exam to become the vice principal. Vice principal? Taking the advancement exam? Now that would be quite difficult. Uh, what? Uh, well, I better get back to work now. Why would that be difficult? When did he... What was that? Bro, my man Kakashi became a real ninja. Like, what the hell is this, 
presence, bro. He, he, nobody sensed his presence. He ate, and, and again, he didn't show his face. Nobody saw anything, and then he left. Yeah, they're just trolling us at this point. But what, I thought he was gonna encourage Iruka. He was like, "Oh, that's gonna be very difficult." Like, does he know something we don't? And besides, Iruka. I mean, I understand where Iruka's coming from. He wants to, you know, he wants to inspire more children to become like Naruto. He wants to, you know, if he's a wise principal, he's gonna have more things to do, paperwork uh, aside from classrooms, and he's gonna be busy as hell, right? So yeah, I understand, but he needs to remember why Hiruzen assigned him here, right? Because Hiruzen gave him that epic pep talk that made him understand Naruto and fall in love with teaching. Like he, at first, he didn't like teaching, right? But he wasn't for the ambu. Kakashi told Hiruzen himself, so that's kind of, I love how, how they're doing this. But that little scene with Orochimaru and Yamato in the background having a seizure, like what the hell is happening? What? Orochimaru's in the village and he's trolling. <laughs> I love it. So let's go. Yeah, was he talking about Erika taking the advancement exam? <clears throat> Why'd he say it'd be difficult for him? Yeah. <laughs> it's clear to me that as the Hokage, Lord Kakashi doesn't believe that Erika is suitable to be the vice principal. <gasps> Why would you even say I'm that? I'm certain that's what he meant. For him to say that taking the exam would be difficult is like saying that he already knows the outcome before Erika Sensei even takes the exam. All right, what's it gonna be, Erika? Bro, they're all messy with his head right now, and episode. So, bro, that's the worst kind of friend that he's just secretly loving your despair. Like, come on, man, what the hell? Stop being petty and support your friend, bro, or colleague if you're not friends. Ebisu, you know, uh, at first I didn't like you. Then I started to like you because, right, with Konohamaru, he really was there for him. And now you're showing that sleazy side again that I don't like. So come on, man. You're not my arch nemesis for nothing, bro. Are Let's you go. stand for that or give Naruto something else to celebrate on his wedding day? Dad, don't pressure him like that. I'm going to take that exam and I'm going to pass Hell it. Hell yeah. Naruto's about to have one of the biggest days in his whole life. And my gift to him will be my good news. All right, Yuruka. But there's no way Kakashi meant that, man. Come on, Kakashi knows something that we don't. We got you! Bro, what an homage, bro. What an homage. I just got chills, bro. I just got chills. Like, that's Kakashi, and it's like us starting this journey all over again. Uh -huh. He was prepared. <laughs> A prank like that one is old news. A trash can! But Naruto Uzumaki used to play tricks like this, oh. and he went on to become the village hero. I think anyone here can become a hero just like Naruto. You simply have to believe in yourself. Yeah, you simply have to believe that Minato and Kushina are your parents and are gonna sacrifice everything they have for you, seal the nine-tail fox in you. Oh, and by the way, your child a prophecy and... Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah, his message is valid here. Anybody can become somebody if they put their time and effort and sweat and blood into it, okay? So let's go, man. Always try to do your best. Yes, sir! Yeah, man! Be the best version of yourself! Look at Rock Lee! So please, I hope you can forgive us. Damn, my girl Sakura is fine as hell! <laughs> man, I'm so excited, man. I love everything. I don't know, Tsukune. I think smashing the statue is going Damn, too far. Damn, smash. Erika Sensei's gonna get really mad about that. Come on, yeah, man. So what? <gasps> don't you know the, the history of Hiruzen? Fuck! I chased it! The pranks you pull are on such a small scale. Why, to Naruto, scrolling <laughs> graffiti on the Hokage's great stone faces was nothing. Facts. He even took the scroll of sealing. Shut up! Who cares about him? This kid seems a bit angry if you ask me, okay? What the hell is wrong with him and Hiruzen? D -d -d Don't they teach them what a legend Hiruzen was? Come on, man. I know I joked like he neglected Naruto. He did the best he could, okay? I love Hiruzen. So, a man who died for the village and did everything he could, and you're just gonna try and smash his stone statue? I guess they're just kids and they don't know the, you know? But come on, man. You just show some respect. It's, at some point, it's just a matter of respect. But it would be cool for Naruto to just walk by and, you know, hug Iruka and, you know, and for these kids to see that, that would be everything. Because everything Iruka said would have proven to be true. And Naruto's a legend right now, so damn! I'm not him! So Iruka sensei's still... Yeah, he's been gung-ho ever since. You're really gonna do it? Yeah, of course I am. What? Lord Hokage's gone, so this might be our only chance to do this. I can pull off anything that Naruto Uzumaki did, and just as easily too. Really? Can you beat Kaguya? <laughs> I'll wait. <laughs> Let's go. Evening. 
Oh, oh, welcome, Lord Hokage. Bro, I thought Kakashi just caught the little kid, but he actually entered the ramen shop. And I'm sorry, somebody needs to hit on that girl. Like, no, guys, you're both single. I mean, not Ebisu. Ebisu has no chance, but Kakashi. I mean, I guess that would be a power play, so that's not right, because he is the Hokage. It wouldn't be fair. But, you know, you, you get what I mean. Maybe Iruka. I really want to put Iruka with somebody. I don't think Iruka has anybody. Tell me in the comments if I'm mistaken. Really, could you please drop the Lord stuff? Uh, what's the matter, Ebisu? What did I do? Oh, don't be humble. Ooh, that smells delicious. It must be ramen. Seems they didn't order pot stickers, though. Wait, are you serious? What, what are they doing with my boy? Like, they're trolling hard here. Did you see Yamato? Like, what? He's like, it must be ramen. Like, he's mentally, <laughs> like, what? Curious, is that what happened? I really didn't mean it that way at all. Where's Kakashi? How many times do I need to ask you to drop the lore? Never mind that. We have a big problem. <laughs> what? what? The scroll of sealing has been stolen? Yeah. Yeah, that kid. Every shinobi is out searching for it right now. And Iruka's gonna figure it out because he just mentioned that to that kid. Bro, come on, kid. Are you serious? You're just gonna interrupt Kakashi. They're trolling all over again with the mask, right? Kakashi just, you know, almost showing us his face and then somebody interrupts and now they're doing the same thing with him finishing the damn sentence, bro. What did you mean? <laughs> okay, yeah, Iruka's gonna find this kid. Don't tell me. Ah. Uh. Ooh. That was physical contact. <laughs> What's wrong with that kid? I mean, Naruto had a reason for being the way he was. See? That was totally easy. Damn. I knew that I'd find you here. <laughs> You're planning to use a shadow clone from the scroll of ceiling and pull off a flashy prank, aren't you? I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I keep comparing students to the ones I had in the past, but doing that is preventing me from seeing into the heart of the precious student right in front of yeah, me. Yeah, man, the Wheel of Fire. Iruka sensei Everybody's different. All you want is to be acknowledged, don't you? Yeah, man. And I didn't see that and just kept bragging about an old student. I have been such a fool. I'm so sorry, Tsukune. Please forgive me. I guess that I could give that whole trying my best idea a shot. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. That was perfect. I'm very sorry about what my student did. Do me a favor and confirm what's inside of there, will ya? Ah, uh, Kakashi saw this coming, he switched the scrolls or something. There's nothing important inside there, brah. Listen, Kakashi's just 10 steps ahead, it look as 5 steps. They, they went through all of this, okay? But I love, that was a little dope character development in Iruka, because he realized his faults there. Yeah, he was comparing everybody to Naruto because he was living in the past, because yeah, those were some precious times. But you need to focus on the new children, new generations, new, right? And yeah, they all individually, they're all individually different, and they just want to be acknowledged just like Konohamaru wanted to be called Konohamaru and not the honorable grandson I understand it I get it and it's it's well written I, I like it let's go what is this about that advancement exam oh. oh yeah I know you were right Kakashi vice principals more than I can handle huh no I don't oh no when I said difficult all I really meant by that was what the advancement exam is going to be on the same day as Naruto's wedding Oh, yeah, that makes sense. You were his mentor, Iruka. There's no way that you can miss his wedding. You have to be there. I've decided not to take the exam. Oh. I got carried away about going to Naruto's wedding as the newly promoted vice principal, and I forgot about all of my students who are right in front of my eyes. I've got to take care of my current students and cherish all of the things that are right in front of me. Then and only then can I properly congratulate Naruto. I love this. Listen. I'm giving you a secret mission. Each of you is to prepare a congratulatory gift for Naruto and Hinata's wedding. Okay. Report back one week before the ceremony and make sure to have your gift at the ready when you do. A gift? The OG soundtrack! Oh, yeah. Great! What is this all about? We're going to assess and rank each gift. But isn't that like measuring their friendship? Like putting a price tag on it? Messed up. Mm. I'm prepared to be called the worst Hokage in the history of the Leaf for this. And it's all thanks to you, Iruka. <laughs> you just uh, trolled him hard, is that it? 
I think, yeah, guys, listen, this was a, this was a beautiful episode. This was a beautiful episode. They're preparing for Hinata's and Naruto's wedding, bro. Iruka having a life lesson, still learning things, declining the offer, Ebisu being petty as hell. He's just confirming how bad of a character he is. I love that. <laughs> Kakashi, bro, my man Kakashi is just a legend, a legend. Lee, Guy, everybody was there. Ten, Ten, Ino, Hinata, a baddies. Okay, listen, no. On a serious note, this episode was emotional, okay? I was trying to contain the tears, bro, when, when uh, Iruka just, you know, was talking to that kid. Yeah, new generation, they're just, they're introducing new generations and they're really emphasizing the time skip and that our guys are grown, man. They have their own responsibilities, own lives, and it's just different, okay? It's times of peace and they're all gonna, so they're all gonna compete with the gifts? That's kind of messed up. I'm not even gonna lie. I don't know what, what came over Tsunade to think of that, but hey, hey! I am not gonna fault it, cause this way Kakashi is kind of prioritizing his Hokage role and making sure everybody has a good time and the village stays safe, cause nobody's gonna have a good time if somebody ambushes and kills innocent people while they're drinking and just having a blast, right? So this is important. But anyway guys, I can't wait to jump into the next one and see what that one is about, cause this is this was just a sweet episode. I don't know what they were doing with Shimada and Yamato, like from time to time just, you know, appearing. What the hell is that, right? But anyway, yeah, I'm just gonna jump into the next episode. That's all I have for you today. I really enjoyed this episode. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Love you.